that amounts to absolute detestation. <laughs> oh, pity me, my beloved friends, for such is my sense of duty that, once out of my indentures, I shall feel myself bound to devote myself, heart and soul, to your extermination. Oh, that! Oh, that! Well, Frederick, if you conscientiously feel it is your duty to destroy us, we cannot blame you for acting upon that conviction. Always act in accordance with the dictates of your conscience, Sir Roy. Chance the consequences. Besides, we have the little temptation to offer you to remain with us. We don't seem to be able to make piracy pay. I'm sure I don't know why, but, but we don't. I know why, but alas, I mustn't tell you. It wouldn't be right. Why not? It's only eleven forty-three. <laughs> you are one of us, but the clock strikes twelve. True, and until then you are bound to protect our interests. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well then, it is my duty as a pirate to tell you that you are too tender-hearted. For instance, you make the point of never attacking a weaker party than yourselves, and when you attack a stronger party, you invariably get fresh. <laughs> there is some truth in that. Then again, you make the point of never molesting an orphan. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. We're orphans ourselves, and we know what it is. Yes. But it has got about, and what's the consequence? Everyone we capture says he's an orphan. The last three ships we took proved to be manned entirely by orphans, and so we had to let them go. <laughs> One would think that Great Britain's mercantile navy was recruited solely from the orphan asylums, which we know is not the case. But hang it all, surely you wouldn't have us absolutely merciless. There's my difficulty. Until 12 o'clock, I would. After 12, I wouldn't. Was ever a man placed in so delicate a situation? And Ruth, your own Ruth, who has won her middle aged way into your boyish heart, what is to become of her? Oh, he will take you with him. Yes. 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 Well, I feel some difficulty about it. It is true that I admire you very much, but I have been constantly at sea since I was eight years old, and yours is the only woman's face I've seen. <laughs> <your eyes. laughs> I think it's a sweet. <laughs> As I have never had an opportunity of comparing them with other women, it is just possible I made a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> One of the terrible things for me if I were to marry this innocent girl, and then find out that she is on the whole plain. <laughs> Yeah. 
shall I do before these gentle maidens? I dare not show in this alarming costume. No, no, I must remain in close concealment until I can appear in this unclothing. Not in true, but 
myself upon your notice in this affected but alarming costume. <laughs> but under these peculiar circumstances, it is my bounden duty to inform you that your proceedings will not be unwitnessed. But who are you, so speak? I am a pirate. A pirate? <laughs> Ladies, do not shun me. This evening I renounce my by profession, and to that end of your and peerless maidens, of blushing bars of ever bloom beauty, I saw at heart, I saw at heart, in your, your kind assistance.
introduced myself, and I should like to have some idea of what's going on. For this meeting, I shall tell you in two words. We propose to marry you. Dear me! Yes, I will, Papa! Yes, I will! Oh, you're a good witch, you mustn't do that! May I ask? This is a picturesque uniform, but I am not familiar with it. What are you? We are all a single gentleman. <laughs> yes, I gathered that. Anything else? No, nothing else. Oh, Papa, I don't believe them! They are pirates! The famous pirates of Penzance! The pirates of Penzance? <laughs> I've often heard of them. <laughs>
not in the same category as telling a really a terrible story.
try to make it, but why does he sit night after night with his crafty old ruin? Why do I sit here? To escape the pirate's clutches, I describe myself as an orphan. And heaven help me, I am no orphan. I come here to humble myself before the tombs of my ancestors and to implore their pardon for having brought dishonor upon the family escutcheon. But you forget, sir, you only bought the property a year ago. <laughs> Stuck home in a baronial hall is scarcely tried. Frederick, in this chapel are ancestors. You cannot deny that. With the estate, I bought the chapel and its contents. <laughs> I don't know whose ancestors they were, but I know whose ancestors they are, and I shudder to think that they're descendants by purchase, if I may so describe myself, should have brought disgrace upon what I have no doubt was an unstained escutcheon. Be confident. Had you not acted as you did, this reckless man would shortly have called in the dearest clergyman and have married your large family on the spot. I thank you for your profit solace, but it is unavailing. I assure you, Frederick, that such is the anguish and remorse I feel at the abominable falsehood by which I escaped these easily deluded pirates, that I would go to their simple-minded chief this very night and confess all! Uh, did I not fear that the consequences would be most disastrous to myself? <laughs> uh, at what time does your expedition march against these scandals? At eleven, and before midnight, I hope to have atoned for my involuntary association with the pestilent scourges by sweeping them from the face of the earth. And then, maybe, you will be mine. And are your devoted followers at hand? They are. They only wait my orders. Then, Frederick, let your escort lie in heart and be summoned to receive a general's blessing ere they depart upon their dread adventure. Yes, sir, they come.
I shouldn't be surprised if it were owing to the agency of an evil nature. Very. You are a victim of this clumsy arrangement. Having been born in leap year on the 29th day of February. So, by a simple arithmetical process, you easily discover that though we have lived 21 years, yet if we go by birthdays, you're really only five and a little bit over. <laughs> Yes, yes, the night of the traitor dies. Tonight he dies. 
it shall be. I'll done returning plan you, I declare it. It seems so long. Well, that till then you will be true to me. Yes, I am strong. I understand he's dead and gone. I swear. Ah, 
right hand side. The Major General comes, so quickly hide. Yes, yes, the Major General comes. Yes, yes, the Major General comes. <laughs> yes, yes, the Major General comes. Tormented with the anguish dread of falsehood undertone, I lay upon my sleepless bed and toss and turn and gloat. The man who finds his conscience in no peace at all enjoys. And as I lay in bed awake, I thought I heard a noise. He thought he heard a noise. Ha! No, all is still in Dale on Hill. My mind is set at ease. So still the sea, it must have been. A sign of the
deep advantage you've contrived. The joke that triumph will not be long life. Don't say your all we know that game. On your allegiance we have a strong acclaim. We charge you yield. We charge you yield. Place them at the bottom.